I'm dead to real life and doomed to an eternity of hell cut off from God. However, we also learn from God's word that our God in his mercy has won man's redemption and deliverance and offers to man a new birth and new life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This new life God gives to his people and their children through baptism, the washing which brings his mercy and regeneration through the working of his word and spirit. Baptism stands for the new beginning God has given us through Jesus. It shows that we are to live as God's children in his family and the church. It declares that God gives us the Holy Spirit as the guarantee of forgiveness and eternal life. Today, God our Father calls this child here presented for holy baptism by name to enter this inheritance. In the confidence that God is faithful to these his gracious promises, you are here this morning to have this child baptized. And now from you, the sponsors of this child, the church seeks assurance that training, growth, and maturing in the Christian faith will indeed follow and supplement this baptism. On you are laid these important responsibilities. You are to be witnesses that this child has been truly baptized. You are to keep this child regularly in your prayers. You are to help her to understand and respond to the covenant relationship which God has established with her through her baptism. And you are to witness to her of a faith and new life which God has worked in you, so that you can be used by your Lord to help bring this child to a full and mature faith and life in Christ. This then you intend gladly and willingly to do, so answer yes with the help of God. Yes. To you, the parents, however, God has given the primary responsibility as well as the primary joy. In faith, you have brought your child to be baptized so that God could reclaim this child as his own and give new life to this child with his spirit. But this new life must grow and mature as your child grows and matures, lest it wither and die. Therefore, God has instructed Christian parents to bring up their children with the admonition and nurturing which comes from him. This means that you too must be praying for your child daily that you must be helping her to understand and respond to the covenant relationship which God has established with her through her baptism, and that you must be witnessing to her with the new life God has worked in you. Do you then promise to put yourself and your child into God's hands so that he may use you to accomplish his will in your child? So answer yes with the help of God. May God enable you sponsors and parents, both to will and to do this work of love, and with his grace fulfill what we are unable to do. Fellow redeemed of this congregation, this child in your baptism shall receive God's Holy Spirit and shall become a part of Jesus Christ, even as Christ shall become a part of her. This is what has happened to each of us in our baptism. Therefore, through this baptism, we will be united with this child as we share Jesus Christ and his life-giving spirit be united with this child. We have a responsibility toward her, especially as she grows in body and mind, and is able to come to understand and respond to the words and the facts of God's judgment and mercy as found in God's written word. We have a responsibility to surround her with God's word through organized classes and the best possible instruction, and to surround her with the power of God's life-giving gospel in our words and lives. To remind ourselves of this, let us confess together this faith which is ours, into which this child will be baptized and must be helped to grow by speaking together the Apostles' Creed. And about page six in your bulletin, it is printed. We join together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. What is the name you've chosen for your child? The Lord knows his own and he calls them by name. He writes their name in the book of life. Okay. Gosh, Mar, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the sign of the Holy Cross, both upon your forehead and upon your heart, in token that you have been redeemed by Christ the crucified. Almighty God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given you a new birth in holy baptism and has forgiven you all of your sins, keep you in his grace to eternal life. Amen. May the light of this candle be a reminder to you of the light which God has brought into your life through Jesus Christ in your baptism, as you have it lit on each anniversary of this day. May this piece of fine white linen be a symbol for you of the purity and righteousness given to you by Jesus Christ, who now lives in you. Arise and join our hearts in prayer. Lord God, we give you praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you especially today for declaring your love for Naive Gach Mar before she can even hear about you. As you have loved her from the beginning, so continue to protect and guide her. May she become a loyal disciple of Jesus. Help her father and mother, sponsors, and us, the members of this congregation, to keep the promises that we have made. We thank you for your goodness to these parents, for the wonder of new life, for the enrichment of their home. Help all parents to give their children security and freedom, and by their love to show the meaning of your love. Whether we are young or old, we ask together that you will make our baptism new for us each day, so that we may live together in the joy and power of the Holy Spirit, and at the last, live forever in your presence, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.